Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to East Vineland. We are back here on Kubota Farm. Happy weekend. Should be a Saturday, I think, when you're watching this. Uh, my apologies up front with Friday's episode. Once in a while, YouTube just doesn't want to play nice. And it doesn't want to... Um, Oh, what do you call it? Encode to high def. And yesterday's episode was one of those episodes where YouTube just decided, oh, you know, we're a little delayed on the high def thing. So if you did watch the episode and it looked really pixelated or junky, my apologies. Um, I have reset it. And hopefully it will finish and complete what it needs to do so it looks better. In the meantime, just to get you a little caught up on what's going on, I have gone ahead and leased this thing, our oil mill. Because I got to thinking after our last episode that, well, sunflowers are more valuable to us than pig food um, and we're gonna lease the oil mill anyways for our olives so why don't I just bring the sunflowers down to the oil mill and make sunflower oil we'll make a good deal more money doing that than anything and honestly I think as much as it kind of stinks to just buy pig food I'm actually pretty convinced that you're better off just buying their food and using your crops for either selling straight away or more importantly you know have it pass it down the production line and uh, they're definitely more valuable that way so that's what we're gonna do eventually I think with our pigs the plan is to get this food thing balanced out some more. The root crops are taking forever. I might actually just get to a point where I just stop feeding them anything, let their health dwindle, <laughs> get that root crop that root crops down to 5%, and then we can just start buying prepackaged pig food instead of buying, you know, individual stuff. And if we happen to have um, if we happen to have other things that we can throw in the mix, you know, from our crops or leftovers from whatever, we can throw their way. That's no problem. I'm kind of thinking for the sugar beets, we might as well plan on, I guess I, you know, at first I thought, well, there's your root crop, but then that doesn't make a lot of sense again. We should spin up the, uh, the sugar factory and we'll take our sugar beets over to the sugar factory and make some sugar. Um. And I think that's really the game plan that I'm going to take. I think we're just going to buy food. Um, the sheep are easy enough. They're grass, and we can always deal with that. The chickens, you know, they're the majority of their food is cracked corn, which we have a decent amount of, and we will definitely have a ton of once we get our cornfields harvested. But we can sell that cracked corn as well. That's not a problem. We don't have to save it all for the chickens. But I think you kind of get the idea of where I'm heading. So let's go ahead and dump our sunflower harvest off. We only got about 30,000 uh, liters. I don't know if that's... I mean, yield on, that, on the, that field was actually up there pretty good. I think it was in the high 90s. So I guess we ended up doing at least a pretty good yield off that field. Um, so we'll let activated. We and we're going to store. Um, I think most of these things here, this oil stuff, we're just going to. I think we just sell. I think it's the end of the road. I don't think we're going to be passing them down any further. So we'll just sell it as it comes out. Uh, also, I forgot to mention last time. Here, let me jump out of the tractor. Actually, actually, why don't we head back to the farm? I was going to say, that's not what I wanted. I was going to say, um, I did forget to mention in the last episode and the episode before, and the episode before that, that, um, 
our oat harvest that we did and I had forgotten that pigs don't eat oats but again this goes along the line of what I was talking about I actually took that entire oat harvest and took it over to our grain mill completely left lost it in my mind that we had that grain mill um, production going so I took our entire oat load I think it was I, I forget how much that was it wasn't a great deal but it was plenty to get our grain mill fired up again and it's producing flour for us so that's a good thing again pass it down the production chain make more money out of it um, to me it just makes more sense than than feeding especially pigs because pigs aren't that I, I know that it's always a good idea to spend as little as you can on feed but it just doesn't make sense to me financially speaking to give this stuff to the pigs when we can pass it down production and make a lot more money than pigs are ever going to make us now granted pigs do provide slurry and we're going to use their slurry but we sell 20 pigs if I keep them healthy we sell 20 pigs a month I think it's not a great deal of money so it is what it is I'd love to see the game and I think there is a mod out there and there's some maps that incorporate butchers but I'd love to see a little bit more production for the animals you know a production bigger production chain for the animals maybe someday that will happen but right now we're just gonna roll with the uh, as Ario Speedwagon says we're gonna roll with the changes what a oh, great song right all right so here's where we're at otherwise oh oh hello case I, I neglected you I'm sorry I think I repaired it last time I did indeed let's give you a quick spritz a little spritzing oh that header can be returned as well actually we I was I love this header but I don't feel like it was leveled out right on this combine it just doesn't seem to go low enough to the ground it looks a little goofy I didn't notice that when we were going and harvesting sunflowers but I did notice it after the harvest was done it kind of felt like the header just wasn't just wasn't quite right um, so I'm thinking about we'll just get a different header for our corn but our corns not till next month anyways and I don't want to keep this lease so let's return that header back to the leasing company. Our case is clean and repaired. Now we do need to do some... Okay. Kind of a dumb moment. So the other episode, I was looking at our um, precision farming fields. Where is it at, Brad? What are you looking at, buddy? What are you doing, buddy? Where, where's it at, Brad? Why can't I see what I wanted to see? Uh, not pH. Isn't it on... Is it... No, nah, not seed rate. Yield? Where's my... Um, how weird. Why am I not getting... Anyways, why am I not seeing the values for each field, the breakdown? What am I missing here? I'm not seeing the breakdown of what the what our scores are for each field. Why am I missing that? Do we need to buy soil samples again? Or am I just... Um... Anyways, I was wondering what the breakdown meant. Well, here's the five values right here. I don't know why I had kind of a dumb moment, but I did. And 
nitrogen on several of the fields was at zero. We were getting zero bonus on nitrogen. Now, nitrogen, of course, being our um, fertilizer. Man, I'm having a hard time thinking and talking today. Sorry, guys. So I don't, it seems like you can cheat a little bit with, with precision farming that you're allowed to do some things with precision farming. They say that, you know, that it's better to do this, this, and this, and you're allowed to do, you know, you're allowed to have it to not lime for three, um, you know, for three harvests and things like that. But I'm getting the impression that it's not really a cheat, but to better play the system, you're better off almost liming every time and certainly fertilizing every time to gain as many points as you can, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm thinking that through correctly, and it's really bugging me that I don't see... Why am I not seeing field... Precision farming field values. What What am I missing there? Okay. Doesn't matter. We're going to move on. So, how I'm going to play this field, our sunflower field that we just harvested, is we are going to slurry it up. I really, honestly, still in my mind, and I, and I don't mean to be a negative Nelly, I still, I still don't understand what the concept is here because if you look at the okay do you see the second from the top is change nitrogen reference value okay tap y nothing is happening i, I I've, I've tried this multiple different ways i have no idea what the game's trying to tell me i can't find any information on it that seems applicable it's driving me a little bit crazy uh, it's just one of those things that I really want to know about, but I just can't find info on. Um, so I have no idea what they're talking about. You can deactivate the automatic application rate, which kind of makes sense to me. So if we deactivate that, no longer is it going to automatically vary the application rate of the slurry based on soil type. That's my understanding. It's based on soil type, right? And we can use k and &M. You can see here how I'm bumping it up way up. So now I've got it jacked up max. 16, 165 kilograms per hectare. Or you can bring it way down. Way down, way down. Now according to this, the green value is 60, 65, 70. Somewhere in there, right? Now... Again, if we leave it at that, and that's actually about what you're going to get right now on this field, if we activate. So if I go back and reactivate automatic application, and we slurry this field, it's going to be at about 60, I'm assuming kilograms, per hectare. But that is not nearly enough slurry are nearly enough nitrogen for well almost any crop right and so I, I I don't know I don't know I'm confused I'm just I'm I'm a confused person I didn't used to be confused about it because I don't think I really gave it a whole lot of thought because I didn't do a whole lot with slurry but slurry and manure and I think manure but slurry for sure and digestate just I, I just, I'm not wrapping my brain around what the game is trying to do here. But one thing I do get is, and I've seen it several times, is to apply natural fertilizer like slurry, manure, and digestate prior to field prep. And in this case, this field is asking to be plowed. It does have a needs plow state. And we are going to do that because if we don't... Uh, we lose, um, I think it's at, well, we lose at least 10, 15, 20% of yield like we are here on our poplar field, right? So our poplar field right now, 
uh, the expected yield on it's 117, and I think we would bump that up 10%. Is it? Because that would be more than yield potential. Maybe it's not quite that high, but I do know that it is several percentage points to not have it plowed. So we do need to plow this field, but I want to go ahead and I'm just going to slurry it first. And then we'll plow in the slurry and we'll get the field plowed. And then we'll figure out what we want to plant in there. Because with our cedar, we can just plant right over plowed ground, which seems a little weird. But, you know, what are you going to do? So let me kick off. Um, let's kick off. Let's do this. Let's, let's, um. Actually, let's do this. I think we can just hire, let's hire a helper so that we can go tackle a little something else too. And he's gonna go ahead and spread that slurry. He's should stop when that tank is empty and that tank should, I don't think that tank's gonna make it through the whole field. Uh, but you can see here, we are roughly at 95, 90, 95 kilograms of nitrogen in the soil where he's been. So he's only putting down, here. there's 50 here, roughly 50, probably about 50 kilograms in the soil right now here. So he's only really putting down, what, 40, 45 kilos of slurry. Let's see what the rate shows, if it does show here. I think it'll show in real time. kind of hard to say I don't think it's maintaining plus 70 yeah it's kind of jumping around a little bit with soil type I think oh thanks thanks for that you did that last time to me too I think um so now it's 130 kilos here what was it 50 so he added about 80 kilos and if we look at the precision farming map we can see here how Again, it's not really, where's my, yeah, nitrogen. It's not really doing a, you know, bang up job. It doesn't look like to me at least, but making a little bit of a difference, but not significant, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be. And maybe that's just the way it is. And it's adding some anyways, regardless. So I guess that being said, um, we'll have to put down less solid fertilizer. Um, yeah, yeah. I would think that's how it's gonna work then, you know? So we'll put that down, we'll plow, we'll plant, and then we'll have to re-fertilize after we plant so that um, we can use crop detection. Where is my, where is my little buddy? Did I, did I move him? Do I have him hooked up? Where's my, uh... oh, that's weird. Where's my thingy? Where's my thingy? Where's my spreader? Oh, I know where the spreader is. Ha, huh? and it's kind of funny because when I put it away, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna forget that it's here. <laughs> yeah, I forgot where it's at. There it is right there. I knew I was gonna forget it too. It's one of those things like, Brad, why do you put it there? Just put it where it belongs, where you normally have it. No, I'll remember. No, you'll forget. Well, yeah, I forgot. Okay, there we go. Let's grab a little bit more fertilizer. I think we have enough to uh, to get the job done, but we've got so much fertilizer sitting over here. It's not going to hurt just to grab some more. And uh, let's get uh, let's get our our field over here fertilized up. It needs it pretty badly. It's funny because it's it's so easy when using solid and liquid fertilizer. The game makes it, well, idiot-proof, basically, you know? So, 
I have a feeling it's not... I'm, I'm close to understanding this slurry maneuver thing, but at the same time, I feel like it's... It's just escaping me. It's just escaping me. So if we look at our field here, you can see how bad we are when it comes to nitrogen and our pH. And I'm half tempted. I'm half tempted to sort out our pH level. This is not looking the greatest here on pH, I don't think, is it? But if we look here... Our pH, well, pH says perfect there at least. Yeah. I was half tempted to grow oilseed radish on our sunflower field. I'm still half tempted to do that. But I just haven't, you know, I've done oilseed radish before and it's just one of those things where I think when you do oilseed radish, you have to make sure that, you know, you have to do the tillage and everything afterwards. Otherwise, you know, you kind of have to treat it right or it's not going to give you the bonus that you would expect from it. And I'm not sure I'm all that in the mood for doing oilseed radish. And I forget, is oilseed radish, is its growth... Um, is its growth time a single month? I kind of forget on that. I have to check that out and see. I forget if it's a single month. It's. I know it's a very short, uh, very short growth period. You can see how easy peasy using solid fertilizer is with precision farming to get your nitrogen levels correct. It's just the easiest thing in the world. I don't even think I have crop detection turn on and again it's one of those things where in fact here let's turn it on turn on crop sensor and again that's one of those things that I really just am yet to be convinced that that is doing a darn bit of good at all um, unless I'm just using it completely wrong uh, I don't think it's providing any value at all it's just kind of one of those things that you know you buy it because you're kind of playing the game and um, I just don't think it's done anything for for me I haven't seen it dramatically decrease how much uh, fertilizers used I'm assuming that's what it's for right is the crop sensor is supposed to sense the crops and therefore adjust the amount of I believe fertilizer that you use. I think lime is just doesn't utilize crop sensor. Maybe I have that backwards, but uh, interestingly enough, I see how fast we're going through this solid fertilizer. Um, I think the field calculator is not adjusting for precision farming. I think this field calculator mod is based on the game without precision farming. And I'm going to tell you why here when we run out. Because I looked at our field calculator for field 7, which is... The field we are on, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, field seven. Whoops. And we go to our field calculator. And according to this, standard fertilizer will only take 773 liters. Well, I had, what, double that at least in our spreader? So I'm going to assume that field calculator... I have to gather from that 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 field calculator is not adjusting for precision farming. I have a feeling it's really designed just for the base game fertilizing when you have to do the you know the double application stuff. I mean, it still gives a little bit of an idea. I feel like it's closer on some things, but in this case, boy, it wasn't. It was pretty far off. We've got plenty of fertilizer, though, so no worries there. In 
fact, speaking of, what's our friend doing over here with our slurry? Reminder to go the other way there, Brad. Well, he's not empty. That's good. He did a nice stripe job for us. <laughs> I'm assuming that's because the mod author must not have something correct with the uh, spread width on this tank. Here, let me... Um, uh, let's let's turn you off, and we're going to go finish this guy here real quick, and we'll come back to you, Mr. Slurry. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I spent some time in the forums uh, last night. Just kind of in general, looking at precision farming and fertilizing. Uh, not just slurry and digestate, but also just in general dealing with nitrogen, dealing with pH. And I get kind of a mix, you know. I, I get the people, I, get, I, I read a mix of, you know, just do this, this, and this. But most of the most of the ones that I read, most of the, the the replies or things that I read were based on people that are primarily using solid and liquid fertilizer like this, like we are right now. As far as positive things go, like oh, it just works. Do this. The posts that I read that seemed like they had a lot more questions and wondering if there was a bug and things like this were people, it seemed, that were doing most of their fertilizing and stuff using digestate and slurry. So it has to kind of make me wonder if there is some kind of goofiness going on with that. And again... It's, it's difficult when you look at things like that on the forums because what's often not brought up or stated is which map they're on. So which map is being used? Could it be a problem with the map? They normally don't list what mods they have installed and activated. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, a lot of times it's hard to know whether or not you're really dealing with a possible bug with precision farming or if it's the fact that something has been introduced into your gameplay with a mod or I'm just checking to see because I know I thought I missed a couple things, but it's looking pretty good. You know, on whether or not you've introduced mods into the gameplay that have made things a little funky or what you know so hard to know hard to say sometimes when you're looking at those and people start blasting away at um you know this sucks precision farming sucks the game sucks blah 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 and then you read a little further and if you, you find out that they um you know that they've got this mod or this mod or you know this kind of thing um, installed and going, so it's hard to know. It's hard to know. Sorry about that. I need to kill my phone there. I forgot to turn the ringer off, and uh, it was chirping at me. So, so let's go ahead and let's just finish off. Did I not? I did turn you on. There we go. And let's finish off this strip with slurry. I am not going to worry about all those little missed stripes there. That doesn't really concern me. And I don't think it's this tanker that's throwing any issues into the mix. And I only say that because I've done some testing with base game um, slurry spreaders and injectors and I'm finding similar results. The only thing that I haven't played around with much is I think you can do a double application rate but I think that's with manure. I don't think that's with slurry. 
if I'm if I'm not mistaken, I think manure is the is the one that's for double application rates. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one, but I think that's right. Actually, how much do we have left? Do we have enough to just kind of spend it on this field? We probably don't quite have that much going on here, do we? We could dump the rest of this in our overfill tank if we want to. In fact, I think that's probably the best idea. So if we take a look at precision farming and look at the nitrogen, I mean, clearly it's improved, but clearly it's not, you know, good either, needless to say. But maybe that's the idea behind the slurry is the slurry will put down that much, you know, and then whatever you plant, it'll just add towards the total fertilizer usage so that you're saving a little bit on using solid or liquid fertilizer. I don't know. Maybe that is, maybe that's just it. You know, let's turn you off here for a second. I'm just looking like at the nitrogen value on our grass field over here. That kind of caught me off guard a little bit there too. And I was looking at that earlier. Um, but boy, it doesn't read that bad when we're out here on the field. It actually reads, you know, it's in that okay area and good, good and okay area. So I'm not quite sure, not quite sure what that's all about either. And I think I've tried spreading over it and it just really doesn't add much or change much. So not really sure what that's about, but so our wheat field over there uh, should be good to go. I think we might have to deal with some weeds. We'll keep an eye on that. And then the, then the next thing we're going to have to worry about doing is getting some, um, plowing done on our on this field here and figure out what we're going to plant here but I think that's all I'm going to tackle for today and I should uh, probably do some more I'm probably going to play some more this afternoon or later tonight so I'll if it's anything worth recording I'll give it a record and throw it out on YouTube again for y'all Sunday but I appreciate y'all joining me once again and leave a like if you enjoyed the video that'd be awesome and uh, subscribe if you feel like doing so. And um, I'll see you real soon back here on Kubota Farm. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye for now.